in this video, um, I'm gonna make it both informative and, you know, vlog, personal journal entry-esque. Uh, let's do the informative stuff first in case anyone wants to know. And, you know, they don't care to know about my personal shit, so, alright. I'm going to explain the stuff you need to get a name, or what, how you can get a name change in Not really how, but the requirements for getting a name change here in the Philippines, which is really much harder than anywhere else in the world that I know of. But, I mean, any of the other places that I've been hearing people say how you do it, this is really difficult. That In that, they don't want you to change your name ever. So, there are three requirements. I mean, three... Not requirements. There are three things, three reasons you can give, three valid reasons you can give for wanting your name changed. One is if it causes confusion, like you're named after the president, you, know, you have the same name as the president, or something like that, or you, uh, your name is Tom Cruise, or something like that. That's one of the reasons they'll give, because you know someone exists with that name and it's confusing, blah 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 blah. That's one. Um, this doesn't work for us. Because, you know, like I said, they don't really have anything against your name unless you are the, you have you share the same name as someone really prominent and that's their definition of confusion. You know, you don't want to be mistaken as the other person. Um, the second is if it causes embarrassment. By embarrassment, again, for some strange reason, this doesn't count. The, if, even if you have an extremely like feminine name and your appearance is like the opposite of feminine, that doesn't seem to count. Embarrassment is like if your name was Poopy Poop Face. That's how they view embarrassment. Not, you know, an extremely girly name. Like, you could be really, really macho and your name could be Carmelita. And they're not so keen on that either. Now, the third one is what. Um, trans people here usually go for and that's frequency of use however I only know of one or two successful cases because in order to get it changed you have to prove that you've been using it a lot and by prove you need to show like anything you anything you can show receipts things that are sort of official looking now that's what you need and then you know you apply for a name change blah 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 I actually don't know the full process but it's supposedly been made easier now this does not count correcting a typographical error those are easy as fuck those are really flippin easy so if it's just a typographical error you don't have to worry but most of the time um, most of the time guys don't get names that are super super close to their names well at least the guys I know my name is like a male Italian version of my French feminine name. And my French feminine name, they're not going to want to use any of the reasons for my French feminine name because even though, if you know the name, it sounds extremely girly, it's not a common name here. And to them, it sounds masculine. But I don't like it because if I go anywhere else, that is like a super, super feminine name. Anyway. Um, and I'm very comfortable with uh, the name I go by now. But anyway. So that's the stuff you need to know, blah. In other words, it's extremely difficult here in the Philippines. Urgh. Now, here comes the rant part. So if that's all you need to know, you can like hightail it out of here now because you probably don't need to hear this part. For frequency of use, you know, in order to pay for things, in order to get documentation for anything, usually you require some sort of identification, don't you? I mean, it's really difficult to get things given in your name, in your chosen name, if you don't have ID or shit like that. It's like, what's, it seems like a paradox almost, like how can you do this without doing that? And in order to do this, you need to do that, but in order to do that, you need to do this. So it's really, really frustrating. So some uh, some people get IDs, um, you, go, um, you know, they go for getting IDs. And that's what I'm trying to do now, and the only government issued ID I know of that doesn't require a birth certificate. Well, uh, is the barangay clearance. I mean, sorry, sorry, um, the postal ID. Now, actually, you can have it just that you give your birth certificate and pay money and they'll do it for you. But what I did, I did it the long way. 
so that I don't have to give my birth certificate. I went to go get, you know, clearance from the barangay town hall. In English, it's like the town hall or something like that. And, you know, and, you know, uh, proof that I live in the village, proof that I am sort of who I say I am. Luckily enough, that's not a big deal. And I was able to get that sort of, you know, it was kind of annoying because they told me to do one thing, but it turns out I had to do another thing. So it's like, whatever. Now, the annoying thing is, um, in two days, what's it, is today the 14th? Today is the 14th, yes. In two days, it's going to be my one year auntie. And it's like, yay, celebration, happy, 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 and stuff like that. But the thing is, I, I applied last early last week. And when they when I applied, they told me that I should return on Monday. Well, they were like, uh, I asked, when can I get my ID? And they're like, um, well, you can get it this week, but to be safe, you should come back on Monday. So that's what I did. I came back on Monday. I go back there Monday and like, hey, can I pick up my ID? I'm like, oh, sorry, the person who usually does this is absent. You know, whoops. I'm like, okay, fine. I went back Tuesday. Nope, she's still absent. She's still not there. I skipped Wednesday because I can't go because of uh, car issues. And I went Thursday. And like, the moment I step in, Lily's like, "Oh yes, you. Sorry, uh, we don't have it yet." Um, yeah. And I'm like, you know, it's it's really annoying because this is so out of my way. Seriously, I am late because it because it opens the same time you know, at, at eight o'clock. I have to wait until that time, and I am late to work every single time I go to check if I get I have my ID, and it's it's really really out of the way. All right, and you know it should have been done Monday. I've been coming back and forth, and blah, and they're like, oh, you know, why don't you just leave your number so. We can tell you if it's done and blah, blah, blah. It's Friday of the next week. You know, Friday of the Monday, they told me would be the latest time I would probably get it. And they haven't texted me. To be fair, I just, wanna, they just gave me my number yesterday. But, you know, they haven't texted me. And it's just pissing me off because it's obviously not going to be open on weekends. So I'm not, if I don't get my ID today, I'm not going to get it at all uh, until next week. And... It's like, fuck, man, I mean, that was, like, supposed to be my gift to myself. One ID with my non-legal name. I mean, with my preferred name. Sorry, I'm picking something off the floor. Um, and it's like, what the fuck, man? I mean, I have been waiting. I have been going back. I have been being becoming late to work, wasting gas money on just getting this bloody ID. And it was going to be, I was going to make a video on... Sunday going, hey, look, it's my one year, and I have some sort of ID, isn't this great? Isn't it awesome? Nope. The Philippine government will fuck you over any chance you get because it is dumb and lame, and it's like, okay, it's the, okay, it's not the worst, and this, it's not the absolute worst, but it's terrible. It is, oof. It's like, if there's a top tier of decent countries, and it's like, so-and-so countries America might be here in the so-and-so because they're not like the best or whatever so-and-so and there's the bot there's the shit tier we might be we're like top of the shit tier probably no mid of the shit tier because the the lowest of the shit tier is you know stuff with really really bad countries with really really bad human rights violations and to be fair it's not that terrible I mean yes there are a lot of human rights violations here but um, for it's not completely the worst place to be. So, mid of the shit here. Yeah, but uh, that's it. Frustration. I am an angry bunny. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about the bunny ears, they seem to be popular in the last video. So, that's why. One year, and this is all I really have to show for it. A little neck beard. But yes, one year. In two days, expect a video for me and Jess because you know Jess was there in the very first video on the very first day so Jess deserves to be there on the 